Hey, Sneakless Fat today. Tonight we've got Bod High or Bodhi Linux, Ubuntu based, but with E17 as its desktop manager. And I like E17 anyway. I'm going to quickly go through it with you. So, under applications, you don't actually get a lot. I've actually installed quite a few here, like the CD creator, but you get Leafpad and the terminal under accessories anyway. Under internet, you don't get Chromium, I've installed that. And Midori is their base browser. I'll open up Chromium, nice and quick, file super, nice, love it. Go back to the menu again. Internet again. Okay, we'll open up Midori, which is their base browser. I like Midori anyway, so it's no big deal to me, because it's nice and lean and fast, and that's what I like. This is their index of their home page. There it is. Nice and clean, simple. And that tells you everything about E17 now, yeah, because it's not your normal desktop environment. So if we open up the basics, it tells you all about your virtual desktops, etc. The entire menu, it takes a little bit of getting used to if you've never used it before. And you may think, oh no, it's everywhere, they've all gone up the wall. But no, it's how it's supposed to be. And you can configure it as much as you like, which is really good. That's what I like about it anyway. But you can run everything. Now, it doesn't mean to say it runs everything at the same time. But what you need to do is when you install it, Click on Run Everything and you'll get a better idea of what you're doing. Or read this first and it'll tell you even more. Because there's some uh, shortcut keys as well to use. Alright, so that's good as well. Okay, back. I won't do connections to the internet because you know how to do that. Now, installing software. There is no software manager here as such. You get Synaptic, so most of you should know how to use that. And you can use AppGet and Dpackage, etc. And they've got some applications on the site as well. So it's not basic, you know. So if you're not used to doing Synaptic, it may not be for you. Now on the site you can get the Flash plugin, the Multimedia Codex plugin and the Java plugin. Now you should be able to get them from Synaptic anyway, but they've just made it a little bit easier for you to do, okay? Yes, of course it's okay, because I'm doing it. So yeah, that's that bit out of the way. I do like the way Midori renders on this, actually, it's very nice. I've actually tried the new one recently, so I'll have to download it for myself. Anyway, back to the menu again. You get a Network Package Manager XChat I've installed myself. Now under Sound and Video, I installed Banshee, because it doesn't come with no media player. It actually doesn't come with anything. You get Midori and Leafpad, and that's about it, really. So I installed Banshee, because I don't mind Banshee, and it's going to be the de default in 11.04, as you well know. We'll get rid of that, go to the next one. So we're going to rush on over. Yeah, it's closed, I was just making sure it closed. There's normally a little icon there. So anyway, back to sound and video again. My desktop, of course, is there, and some other bits and bobs I've installed, just in case. Now this is bits of E17 that you need to get used to. For the gadgets, the modules and the shelves, that could be another video all on its own really, and I've done other stuff on E17, so go back and look at that if you really want to. Now in the all menu, you get lots of stuff for your desktops, your screen resolutions, there's quite a bit in this section of it, so that's not too bad. Your input stuff, how you want your windows to look, your menu settings, languages, file systems, advanced, and settings, yeah. Now I'm going to go to profiles. Now I've got a desktop profile at the moment. But there's also a tablet and netbook profile. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to open that. And that's what it looks like. Now apparently it does work with tablets. And now, as I've not got one handy, I can't actually try that, can I? But yeah, it supposedly works. It automatically throttles your CPU for you, so it doesn't run full power all the time. So that's nice, especially for netbooks. I like that bit. Very, very good. So it's actually got mine around at 1.6 here. This is the old quad-core test machine, or one of them. I have two now, or is it three? I've lost count. And it's automatic power saving, etc. You know how to do that. It's all easy peasy. So yeah, nice and clean. You can put your other icons on the desktop if you want to. We'll open up Midori again. Renders nice, as it should do, because it's just based Ubuntu. End of day, isn't it? Yes, Neil, it is. To close it is down there in the corner, bottom right-hand corner. Close. We'll do that. Yeah, but that's okay for netbooks and tablets, isn't it? Rather nice. So I'm going to go back down to settings and change back to a different one. I think we'll just go back to desktop, actually. This video's not too long. It's just showing you quickly what it's like. So we'll go back to our desktop one. I like that picture. It gives you the option when you're installing to do other stuff, so you can you can choose what ones you want, what desktop picture you want, how you want stuff to run. That's as you install it. Or if you're going to use my live CD, it actually comes up there too. So you've got all your extension stuff in E17. You really need to go into this really to get it to run how you want. I actually did get the NVIDIA driver to work nice on here, the Synaptics there, and your software sources. Now, of course, if you want to run open and short Caden Live and stuff like that. It's just best to do this. Do it this way. Just put the add software from their section. As you can see, it comes from Ubuntu. It's got the Bodhi Linux stuff and get Deb stuff. Nice, nice. Love it, love it, love it. So it looks all hunky-dory, doesn't it? And it is hunky-dory. 
Now, if you want E17 and Ubuntu together, this could be the one for you. But it's a small download, under 400 meg, rather small. Well, why not give it a go? I like it. You should like it too. Sneaky Linux is going to go right. I'm going to go out and get myself a nice cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit. Sneaky Linux. Out. See you later.